Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited. This is my first uh, uh, video and I'm so excited to share with you guys my rapture dream I had in 2009, 2010. It was so amazing because half of that rapture uh, dream has already come to pass. Tomorrow I wanna share with you guys a vision I had in 2019 that comes together with the uh, uh, dream that I'm going to share with you guys today. The reason I'm going to wait to share uh, the vision tomorrow is because I want to get some pictures of the flowers the Lord showed me in that vision so that you guys can get a visual uh, picture of what I saw. Well, anyways, my rapture dream. Uh, in late 2009, early 2010, I was going through really, really hard times and and I was just going through so much and I just started crying and crying and, and I fell asleep reading my word. And then all of a sudden I have this uh, dream that I'm cleaning the counters of this kitchen and I'm just cleaning them all the way down. And then from the corner of my uh, left eye, I see a silhouette coming towards me. So I look over and I see Jesus coming out of this white door and uh, he comes up to me and, and he says, don't worry. And he's speaking to me in my mind and he says, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I got this, I'm gonna take care of it. And then he walked behind me and came around to my right side. And then uh, he looked over at me again and he said, I have one thing left to do and I'm coming back for you. And I thought, oh my gosh, uh, Lord, you know, it scared me and I said, Lord, Am I gonna die? Man, because my heart was beating. And then he turned back and looked at me and he said, I have one thing left to do and I'm coming back for you in the rapture. And that is like, that's for all of us because the rapture is for all of us. So then he turned back around and he started walking out. And he was just so beautiful that I wanted to get a look at him all the way down. And I couldn't look at him face to face because every time he turned towards me, it was like my body would whoosh out. And then when he would turn to the side, my body would come back in and I could see his side profile. So as he was going out from the kitchen, he was going out towards the dining area and there was an arch in between the kitchen and the dining area that he was going through. So I ran to the cabinet that was on the side of the arch to the right. And I ran over there so I could see his whole, um, his whole, uh, uh, what he looked like, the whole image of him. So when I went to the side, I'd seen his beautiful brown hair and it came to about right here. And it had, he had his goatee and his beautiful beard all came together. And then he had this white, beautiful gown that came past his uh, uh, knees. And then he had the sandals that they have, uh, that they wear in Israel. And then uh, around his waist was a sash. And the sash was multicolors and it was shimmering and it was transparent and it had every color of the rainbow. It was amazing. And uh, then when he went right past me and going into the arch, into the dining room, boom, I woke up. But the most amazing thing that I wanna share with you guys is that happened in 2009, 2010, around there. Well, in 2019, I bought a new house and the kitchen is exactly what the Lord showed me in 2009, 10, around there. And so I'm going to take you to my kitchen and I'm going to let you guys uh, see too what uh, I saw and what it, my kitchen is now. So this is my kitchen. And this is the white door right here. It's actually a shutter. And he came through here. I was standing over here cleaning this counter. He was, he stayed here and I was over here. He spoke to me here. And then he came around like through here. And then he came over right next to this. There it is, the arch right there. And this is where he turned around and I was standing over here by this white counter here. And this is where he said, I'm coming. Uh, I have one thing left to do and I'm coming back for you. 
and then, you know, that's where he scared me until he mentioned the rapture. And this corner right here is where I came and stood so that I could see the whole side of him going out through here. And there's the uh, uh, dining table and the actual window that was right there in the same spot that I saw. And everything you see here was identical. I don't know if the... Uh, uh, refrigerator was there but all this counter was here and this counter was over here and the stove was over here all this is identical to the round sink the only thing I did not see was this right side of my kitchen facing the arch over here all this right side right here I did not see so to me this is like uh, God speaking this was like God speaking to me that you know, this is the house I would be in right before the rapture. That's, you know, that's what I'm, I really feel that the Lord was telling me. I'm trying to fix this. Sorry, guys. Well, that's how I feel that uh, the Lord was uh, speaking to me because I'm, I, we all know how close we are to the rapture. You know, it's so imminent. And here I am in the house that he spoke to me about the rapture and Tomorrow when I share this vision to you, it's also pertaining to this house, but uh, uh, but the, the flowers are just so beautiful that I want you guys to see this because I feel that it's a season that he's showing me, but I'm not too sure what it is. So maybe, um, you know, I can share that with you guys and maybe some of you guys might know. But anyways, before I go, I just want to say that... Um, if there's anyone out there that doesn't know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, I want you to know that no matter what you're going through, if you know you feel like the whole world is just coming down on you and, and you don't know which way to turn, you don't know uh, the answer, you know, and, and you're seeking an answer, you know what? The answer is Jesus, and He loves you so much, and He has His open heart arms right here for you saying, Here, here I am. You know, all you got to do is say, Lord, I receive you. I believe you. I know you died on the cross for me. And I, I, I ask you to come into my heart and change my life and help me to live for you. That's all you got to do. And, and God will meet you right where you're at. And all you that are believers that are struggling right now, you know what? Throw it all down at, at, at the feet of Jesus. And you know, he'll help you through your toughest trials and your tribulations. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, we fail him. And we feel like, man, can I, can I really make it? You know what? Yes, you can. Because it's by His grace. And He loves us so much. And He, he knew us before we were... He knew us when we were in our mother's womb. So how much more does He not know what we're going through right now? So I thank you guys for, for watching this video. Be strong and know that everything's going to work out on your behalf. God bless and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.